Afternoon tubers. Currently in the process of clearing this table. I'll pick them up without dropping them. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to risk it. DVDs I've got on offer. £3.65 60, I think they were. In my local Sainsbury's. Dropped down from 11 99 and it's a spindle of 50 I know what name I want, so I'm not going to do it yet. He wants me to go and turn his food into uh, chunks, because the loaf has sort of settled and gone into one lump and he won't eat it like that. He's a picky sod. Right, so I'm just clearing this, because I want to swap the monitor. Got to give that to Mum yesterday. She wanted to borrow some. That's the blue Ethernet cable going through to the kitchen. That's my 200 gig IDE drive. Um, which is just a spare storage drive. Okay, so I'm going to there. I'll try again. I'll start that again. What I'm going to do is set you down on here. Just uh, get you up on the tripod. Like that. Now, I'll unplug it. Uh, it'll be easier if I just take the plugs out of the back of the monitor. Or I'll take the power plug out of the back of the monitor anyway. But I might as well leave the VGA cable in and just unscrew it. And, uh, what does the mouse always go on? Go walkies on this desk. And I've got to power up the system and make sure the monitor works all right with it. You always get one. It's got to be a paint. Get off. There we go. Theoretically, theoretically, I should wear glasses, but I don't. They don't really make much difference. Okay. Tell you what, for a monitor this size, because it hasn't got a big heavy base on it like my one over there, it's actually quite light. Okay, so here we go. I can take this one off. Just say dragging out all the computer desk and then disconnecting it from the bloody computer and that's what just used the cable that's already there. Bust it out of the way. Jump and lay that down. In with the VGA. Bust that. It's an AOC monitor, I've never I think that's meant to be an A. Yeah, there is. There's a couple of light scratches on this side. Yeah, that's working. That's right then. I think that's on. Oh, if I left the speakers on there, that might be why they kept making a pop sound every now and again. Whoops. Yeah. So maybe it does the colour look a bit off. I don't know how well it's coming up on screen. It just looked a bit off to me. Paris. 
speakers I got with the last computer hall. I've got them working. I found them an adapter for them. But some things just look a bit bright to me. That's working. I suppose I could change the scheme if I have to. Ah, that might be why that was chucked. There's a loose panel. Bit of a dodgy panel connection on there, from the look of it. Sort of. Go away. Well, it sort of works. <laughs> yeah. You know, as I said, obviously a loose panel connection. I don't know if the flick flickering is uh, coming up well on this. I may take the back cover off myself and uh, give the connection a bit of a tap. Because that is obviously a... Um, loose panel connection there, or dodgy panel connection. Stopped it now, now that's settled. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, I don't think that's going to be a difficult fix, I hope. Well, at least I know it's... Where did the mouse cursor gone? For some reason, the mouse cursor is going invisible when I move it. I'm <laughs> not sure why. I wonder if I actually left them speakers on, or if I accidentally hit the button when I was stuck at crap and that into it. Right, well this is still uh, transferring those folders across. Uh, says there's about 16 minutes left. Uh, it just means I'm going to have to remember to access the secondary drive when I want the stuff. But uh, it will free up a lot of stuff on my main drive. Free up a lot of stuff. Free up a lot of space. Um, so, apart from replacing my side cover, shorten the legs, what I should be able to do no, now that I know it's working. Um, I've got space for one more hard drive if I really wanted to, but uh, is there really any point? down in this corner. Right. I think it's ready to go back like that. Where it lives. Plastic. Where's the bin? It's a Lego. It's a roll sort. wanted to do. 
Oh yeah. Dum dum. Let's see if this compact keyboard works, shall we? Good old fashioned PS2 keyboard. Uh, lay that one on there. Oh, that's what I want to do as well. I'll go and grab that in a second while this is um, booting up, I think. Make sure the cable's clipped in properly. Right, I'm going to plug the uh, USB keyboard. Plug the PS2 one in. Can't see any reason for it not to work. Turn that on. All the necessary loads have just flashed and come on, so... Where is it? There it is. Put this in the disk drive and see what that is. It just says USB 2. Is that a... USB 2 driver? Probably. Unlock works. Caps lock is working. Scroll lock is working. So we're working so far. Well, the first few buttons working. Windows button works. Sweet. Yeah. I'm going to say that as a working keyboard, it's got loads of keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts up the top there. I never use them. I don't know if anyone out there does, but I've never really used the keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard I've got on my main computer has got a um, built-in scroll wheel on this side, but I've never really used that either. Alright, um, let's take this disc out of here and plonk it in the disc drive and we'll see what it is. Probably a USB 2 driver, which I'm not sure I'll have it use for yet. Okay, got Nero burning ROM. <laughs> USB 2. USB 1.1 and a text document with nothing in it. Ah. Let's run this and see what happens. What is it? Press install button to start extraction. Oh, okay. No. Okay, so that disc can go in the bin, it's not good. There's nothing on it of any use. Well, I read a comment on YouTube where someone said Dells were cheap and shit, but... Considering how robust their cases are, and the care Dell does take when they, uh actually build the machines, you know, with keeping cables tidy and whatnot. I wouldn't have said they were cheap and shit. I don't know what they retail at. To be honest, because I've never really looked. But, uh, no, I wouldn't go as far as to say as they are cheap and shit. I mean, the only ones I've ever had any issues with is the um, Optiplex GX80s. I've had several in the past. None of them have worked. Apart from this job lot that I got, they're the only ones I've ever come across that have actually functioned correctly. <laughs> anyway, I've got PC down there I still need to test. I'm going to turn the video off here, get on with a few more bits, and I'll turn the camera back on later. So, see you in a bit. Well, I haven't done much since I last turned the camera off. I finished 
transfer his stuff across to the um, new drive I put in the machine. Uh, I'm currently transferring one folder across to that external drive. And then I can set that one up and transfer some more to that one. And I think for backup files and whatnot, I'll be uh, virtually done. There's only I'll do it folder by folder on here. It might be quicker. Because those are IDE drives and they are slow. Stupidly slow. I've forgotten how slow they were. Anyway, still haven't done what I want to do in here today. So, I'm now going to start it. But first, I've got to empty that lot. So, uh, it's going to take me a while, but it'll... Just look at that. <laughs> Doesn't care, does it? <laughs> right. Comedy aside, I'm going to empty this out. And, uh start rearranging this cupboard. See what I can move into perhaps the cupboard in the hallway and you may have a switch around in here. So uh, yeah, I'll be back. Well, done a bit more. Got the computers moved up to the top shelf along with the motherboards. Uh, I'll probably put a few more odds and sods up there. A couple more motherboards to take up there out of the way. Uh, I want to keep this shelf clear because I'll put some more computers up there. Um, yeah, try again. Probably my server will go up there because I do want to keep that as a future project. Because I would like to get that going. Um, We really need to go through that pile and decide if I want to get rid of anything. Or decide what I want to get rid of. And what I want to keep. Because I may stack them up and just try them as a job lot of computers, the ones that I don't want. And then someone else might want them to tinker with. I want to um, keep one of these Optiplex GX80s and get one working. Maybe I might keep two actually. And I might break at least one up for parts. So I've got some spare parts. Or I could just keep a couple and break the rest up for parts. I don't know yet. I'll decide that closer to the time. Uh, sort out on this shelf. I've got some bike lights up that corner there, in those boxes that I've decided I'm going to sell. Uh, mainly because they're just sitting there collecting dust and I don't need them. They're old EverReady lights, so they should sell for a few quid on eBay. So I've really gone off. I was collecting bike lights at one point, but no, I've, that was short-lived. I've completely gone off that now. I'm only really keeping ones that I can either use as spares myself if one dies on one of my bikes or that I can put on a bike when I sell it or something so they're all in a box tucked under the bed um, yeah that is pretty much as far as I've got so far ooh, pardon me got the oven on because I'm about to put dinner in uh, I'll clear that shelf I'm not sure if that server's going to stand up in there. Might, just. I hope it does, because that'll save on some space. Um, yeah. At some point in the future, I want to try and fix that server. I suppose I could put my own motherboard in there. I've got plenty of them. Not a cunt. Not without cutting a square in there to put my own IO shield in. Balls. <laughs> um, 
I might have a look on eBay later when I've got some spare time, actually. See if I can find some parts for one of them. Process the line on there, because, uh... Debating whether to keep that board or not. <laughs> Don't really need them all, so that can go on there. Let's try and uh, sell a few on in a job lot on eBay. I clear some space, and that way I'll have some more money to give to the guy I got them from. And he's very kindly letting me pay for all these computer bits he gets me. In installments, you know, he's a very sort of generous and flexible guy, and uh, I don't want to disappoint. Well, unless I can't help, you know, if something happens, like I end up in hospital, God forbid, you know, touch wood, I don't want to end up in hospital, but uh, if something happens and I wouldn't be able to pay him, so, you know, if I can get him some cash, I'll get him some cash. Uh, Put everything back in that box. There's a few keyboards. That is actually brand new. I bought it, never used it. And despite it's brand new, that cable's already come out there. So I'm not sure if that's worth sticking on eBay. For it's only a cheap piece of crap I got from my local Roy's store. It was something like five ninety nine. Or was it QDs? can't remember, it's either QDs or Roars I got this from, and it was about five ninety nine. and it's just a basic keyboard that I can actually see daylight through. <laughs> okay. Never known a keyboard to have holes all the way through. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, because I don't really want to, and I don't really want to throw it out. Um... I'm not going to fix that, I may put it on eBay, or I may put it on eBay for a pound. Well, it's going to cost about three quid to post it, but if someone's after a cheap keyboard, there's a cheap keyboard. A, I've now got plenty of spares. I've got some in the um, job lot I got yesterday, didn't I? I got three? Yeah, three. Well, four if I count the wireless one. I've got those two on there, and one up there. I'm smelling the oven heating up. That's probably about ready. Sausage and chips, yummy, yummy. Um, I got a message from the guy I bought those six laptops from. It's taken me all day to remember this. <laughs> um, they should be picked up by UPS Tuesday. And I'd expect they'd be done on a 48 hour... Sorry about that. Card got full. So uh, while this was dumping all the footage onto the computer... I've uh, sorted the third or the second shelf down and got that heavy old server up there. Uh, I think that shelf I can, that one, I can leave as it is. Or I could probably clear a load of stuff off that shelf. Got the printer in out of the way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that scanner. Well, what I can do, it for the, do with it for the time being. If I'll go. Ah, uh, bollocks, which it won't. Well, that's that idea out the window. Um, I don't know what else to. That'll need stacking on the window. On the window. On the fucking window, what am I talking about? On that shelf, apart from one of these, or at least one of these. And they've all got these past stickers on, which tells me these were all probably from the same, you know, office. I don't think they'd have been school computers. They might have been. They might be old school computers. I don't know. Yeah. They work anyway. All these four work. Uh, always, 
ever since I've been at the computers, I've always come across some sort of Dell. So, they must have sold quite a few numbers over the years. And uh, quite a few of them do still work. Which is good. I've put my um, big old IBM Ethernet hub up there, out the way. Uh, still got a mess in the lounge. I'm going to sort that box out and put all the cables and power adapters from that little box into the big one that's in the lounge. So I'll just have one big box full of laptop adapters and power cables and what not. In fact, I've got like a little tray under the bed full of smaller adapters. I could uh, chuck those in there as well. Well, I might as well, if there's room anyway. No, might as well, because that's better than having two or three boxes of the same thing docked around. Oh, and I did remember that I can power up those Dell laptop bases, because... Uh, I've just crushed something. And something again. Because I've got the universal adapter which has got a Dell connector in the um box. I've got a little tub of laptop connectors in the um cupboard in the hallway. So I might pull that out later and try those. Just for the hell of it. I don't think I'll bother keeping them. I want to modify this. It's an old fire exit sign that I got from a car boot sale. Uh, so it's one of those that, um, as soon as the power goes out, this will come on. So it's got a battery pack in it that obviously is kept charged while the unit is live, and as soon as the power goes off, bing, on comes with the um, battery power. But uh, I want to try and adjust it. So I cut the um I'll switch the battery pack on and off. I want to obviously so when it's plugged in I can charge it. Uh if that makes sense. So I can charge it. Um but have it so it won't come on automatically and flatten the battery straight down. Um, I'd have to flick a switch or something to switch it, or to, you know, let the power from the battery through to the lamp. I'm not sure if that's possible yet. I'll have to undo those two screws and have a look. A bit dusty where it's been up on that shelf. I just thought it'd be quite a novel lamp. I think it only cost me three pounds off the car boot, so I thought, why not? I don't know where I'd put it yet, but... That would be a be made into a novelty light. You know, I've got plenty of wall space I could put it on. I'm not sure where though. I could stick it above the door. <laughs> uh, sort of multitasking at the moment because I've got dinner on the go as well. my sausages. Lots of fattening sausages. Mostly what's in these cheap ass sausages you get from the supermarket it is mostly fat. Oh, I've got these two to go through. Seriously go through what I've got and get rid of uh, anything I don't need. And these on here, I think. That could be my gizmo shelf as well. Ah, got half a back scratcher there. I keep getting spots on my back lately, and they keep friggin' itching. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, or a lot sooner. Right, back to 
TV stand isn't mine, that's my brother's. I just never went back to Mum's. A number of things I've got here when Mum was here that never actually went with her when she moved out. Such as the lamp, and there's another one in the kitchen, there's plants in the kitchen, there's a suitcase full of handbags and I don't know what else. In the cupboard, up. no, it's actually on the landing outside. As well as a hold all bag full of boots and shoes. <laughs> I keep meaning to pick them up and uh, take them back to Mum's, but I keep bloody forgetting to take them down the stairs with me. Stupid thing is, I have to walk past them every time I go down. Uh, I came back in here for something, oh yeah. Some of those plates are actually mum's, when she's bought me roast dinners over, and that one, and the two blue ones. I've only got two plates in my own. I've got three, four of mum's here. I keep washing them up to take them back to mum's, and then I end up using them again. <laughs> so it sort of defeats the object. Uh, looks like my house has an opinion on that. <laughs> Oh, da, 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 da. I've got to take that case apart down there, and that can go straight in the uh, scrappage pile. What do I know, though? I'm going to investigate that a bit more and perhaps put that on eBay as it is. As it is a complete case. You can never know, I might be able to sell it for a fiver. Um, I have sold a couple at a fiver each. There's uh, this one down here, the Asus case. I've listed it twice already. It keeps getting watches, but no bids. So I don't know if people are just watching them until they have the money to get them, or as just an added option. Oh, before I forget, the um, person I bought the two Armada laptops from has messaged me today. And uh, due to Bank Holiday Monday, which I actually forgot about, they won't be able to have a courier pick up the um, laptops until Tuesday. So I may end up with two lots of, or two parcels Thursday if I'm lucky. Um, I know most people, it depends what courier service that, um, they're going to use. If it's my Hermes, it might take a bit longer. Uh, um, so, I'm pleased with that. I'll be happy when I get them, because I can play with laptops. I'm not sure which I actually prefer to play with the most. Laptops are easier to store, obviously, being smaller. You know, I could get hundreds in that cupboard through there if I really want to collect laptops. Um, but desktops are easier to work on. Laptops I find to be a bit more fiddly because they're smaller and the only way you can really get to anything is to take the whole thing apart. Which usually can mean unscrewing bloody umpteen poxy screws. I don't know why they have to have so many. I don't know why they don't design it so two, you know, the two bits of plastic clip together and then just have a half a dozen screws around the edge to hold up together a bit better. Like a lot of other gadgets and gizmos do. And that Apple Power Mac, I'm not going to put that on the shelf in the cupboard. Because that's far too heavy. That's heavier than that server. That really is a well, if it didn't work, that would be a very large and very heavy paperweight. Make good doorstop. I give up a lot of flack, but it is only in jest. Although I'm not fond of um, iPhones or any of that jazz from Apple. It just, all their phones and all their bloody iPods and things, they just seem overpriced to me for what they are. Especially when you can get um, androids that do the same bloody thing for a lot less money. I don't know which one I'd choose, but that's just me, you know. People want to go out and buy a bloody Apple 
phone or whatever, go and buy one. I don't see them as um, very reliable either. My sister's got an iPhone. I can't remember if it's a four or a five. She got it on contract a year ago, so it's probably the latest one. And uh, she's had four charger cables, four genuine Apple charger cables, because they keep breaking. So to me, they're not that reliable. It seems like after a year, no matter how often or whatever you use them, you could use them every day all the time like my sister does, or seldomly use them, and the damn things will just break and start to fail after a year, so I'm not fond of the Apple phones. I'd much rather go for an Android, but that's just my personal preference. And I'm not gonna. I might take the piss out people on YouTube when they start praising Apple and whatnot, and take the piss out of Apple themselves. But computer-wise, can't fault them. A little on the expensive side, and some of them you can't really upgrade. I mean, that's pretty limited on what you can do with that. In fairness, it's sort of like it's a bit like a Dell, you know. They're built for purpose. They're built for a specific purpose in mind, and that isn't to uh, upgrade them. Which I suppose is good, because if you're not good with computers, or you don't know anything about computers apart from how to turn the things on and browse the web, then you're not going to want a, com you know, a computer that you can take apart and put together and upgrade. You're just going to want one that's going to that you're able to uh, take out the box, set up, plug in, use it. <laughs> There's probably lots of people out there that are like that. I'm not, you see, that one's... Well, it started off as a refurb machine, as I've said in previous videos, and I've just upgraded it. The card reader I bought and put on, because they're as cheap as chips on eBay. I don't know why, because I don't use it anymore. There's no real need for them. No, this camera, I don't need to uh, take the SD card out of it to transfer the um, video footage. I'll just use the USB tether. You can do that with a number of um, gadgets these days. Even phones you can just plug and play now. You'll get, um, on a lot of smartphones, you'll get a selection on the phone screen where it'll come up, you know, mass storage device and whatever other options, and you just pick what you want. It's the same with this camera. Hmm. I think I'm going to relist that Asus PC. Now that eBay has um, reverted back to what they used to have, where all auction... auction? auction listings or auction style format listings are um, free insertion fee I had it for a while where it had you know where the first 20 items you post were free but uh, they've actually reverted back to what they had originally oh yeah I got an email saying my um, computer didn't sell, but the bloody thing isn't in the unsold. What's going on there? Tell me it's another delayed email from the eBay. That might be actually. Oh, it's got six watches on it. Ooh. Ooh, that might sell. It ends tomorrow. I put those forks on. I gambled with those racing forks. Because if you remember, I said. I weren't sure if I was going to put them on eBay because of their condition, but they've actually got bids of up to twelve pound fifty now. And they were free. They were a free pair of forks. You know, I rescued them from the scrap pile. <laughs> anyway, dinner's going to be ready soon, so I'm going to end the video or stop the video here and come back later. So not half an hour. Okay, I thought I'd get this one tested. So, that's 
put some memory in. So. Come up, tell me that the system battery is low. <coughs> oh dear. Well, all's good. It all turn on and work. And I don't know why I'm hitting the cage because it's not plugged in. <coughs> um. Yeah. That's good. memory out of that one up to turn on. Probably get all these up and running again if I wanted to, you know. Slap a optical drive in there and slap a hard drive in there and bombs your uncle. <coughs> but uh, there's no point. Ah, oh, Jesus, I've got a croak throat at the minute. <coughs> Just get a drink. I'll turn that volume down as well. Never had a throat which is all croaky and sounds growly and we just can't clear it. <coughs> That's what I've got at the minute. I'm actually bored at the moment. Gee, is that really the time? It's quarter past nine in the evening already. Time has certainly flown today. Um, I've got all files transferred in folders to the um, second, I mean, um, a second hard drive on the computer and to uh, a couple of different external drives. Uh, um, those are only temporary folders. As soon as I've um, stuck these videos together, uh, they'll be deleted because they won't be needed. Pardon me. Uh, I've just left these few folders up here, but uh, it has actually um, given me 152 gigabytes of free space now. <laughs> just over half, because it's a 300 gigabyte drive, so it's I've flipped man blah 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 blah. It's a 300 gigabyte drive. I'll start again with. Um, 152 gigabytes free, so it was about half the drive free. So I'm happy with that. There's plenty of room in there for me to keep doing other bits and bobs. There's several folders on there that were taking up more space than I thought they were. So I think I've moved more folders than necessary, but uh, you know, the more space the better. I've got everything on more than one hard drive, so if one fails, I'll just put the other hard drive in. <clears throat> and if one fails, then I'll just get a new hard drive and make another backup with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, I am bored. I've sort of... Well, it's getting late now, so I can't really... 
you've got food in your dish, stop being a cheeky bugger. So I can't really um <coughs> do much at the moment. Do need to clear the bed at least for tonight. No, I can't really go to sleep with that lot on there. Uh, I think really I wasn't expecting the seat to drop. Uh, still got plenty of room up there. I've got a box of mice. Computer mice through there. That can be thrown up on that shelf. Uh, but first I'm going to put the... Um, at least the Diloptic Vex I want to keep up on that shelf. So, uh, I suppose that could be the project shelf. <laughs> yeah, I might as well make that the project shelf. So that beige computer case right there, centre screen, will go on the shelf as well. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, a few other bits and pieces I can stack on the shelves. I'm going to chuck that monitor in there, actually. I've got a couple of monitors that I might be able to slide up there out of the way. I've got a couple more items to put on eBay, but I'm not in any hurry to do that. Uh, I've got someone who I hope is going to pick up a bike tomorrow. Hopefully late tomorrow afternoon, so it gives me time to... Uh, get out there and replace that rear derailleur for one that isn't bent and twisted uh, a bunch of items ending tomorrow still got one shelf in there to sort out and I've got my other crates of cars to put back in there and behind me where I sorted them out the other day a bunch of yeah, I've got a pile in a box to uh, sell. Or try to sell at least. Box of bloody laptop adapters to sort through and various other adapters. Uh, I don't think I'll do that tonight. Yeah. I haven't got much to do apart from really just sort of clear the bed and potter around in the la lounge. In the large? I knew he said large. Pottering around in the large. Yeah, because I think I've got a lot I can do in there. I can't do anything noisy now. Or anything that's going to risk of dropping something on the floor. So, um, I can't take that out of the bedroom yet because I haven't got the space in there. Uh, could sort through that. That'd keep me busy for a little while. Hmm. <laughs> he must have me around the flat because he wants food, but he's got food in his dish. And he knows it. He's just being a pain in the backside. Uh. Not a lot to talk about now. I'll we'll get, we'll get a pack of fresh batteries for... Oh, hang on. I think I'll just need batteries for the most part. I've got a couple of brand new double A's up here. So, I suppose I could test out the uh, wireless keyboard. Or at least the keyboard. Uh, a bunch of other crap down there to sort out. 
really need to go through that bag. I've got no way of testing the bloody um, DVD drives, really. Not unless one of them laptop bases work. Or a laptop motherboard, one or the other. That's got SATA connections. Still can't get over how tiny that bloody thing is. I might be able to find a um, second hand power adapter for that. If I find one on eBay for a few quid, then I'll buy one and see if I can get this dinky little box up and running. That's all, it's almost pocket sized, that bloody box. And I bet that was one of them that was strapped to the end of your, or to the back of a computer monitor. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it was strapped to the back of that one. Which I've still got problems with. It's only a minor problem, more than an, an annoyance than anything with that flickery screen, but uh, should be able to fix it. I've got a soldering arm, so if I've got to reflow a bit of solder or something, that's, uh, that may have uh, worked its way loose over time. Sometimes uh, that can happen, especially if it's been knocked or accidentally dropped or whatever. Oh, pardon me. Um, those are the lights I want to put on eBay. Old Ever Ready Night Rider. You must sort of do want to sell them and don't want to sell them. Part of me wants to keep them, but then I'm thinking, why the hell do I need to keep them? I'm not using them, and I think I collect enough crap as it is. And I was just taking up room I can use for. One of my other hobbies. It's the same with that box there. The old um, Ever Ready Clubman set. There's no original rechargeable batteries with them because they were knackered. I think I threw those out. But uh, they do work the same way as the old Ever Ready lights used to because they're exactly the same but with a rechargeable battery. <laughs> that was the only difference. So uh, rechargeable bike lights these days aren't really nothing new. I think I did want to put them on one of my bikes, which I might still do. Well, I can't get damn things out of the box. Whoopsie. Because they are in my favourite colour as well. So there's a uh, no wrong with it. pair of this style of ever ready lights with um that had rechargeable batteries in them. or a rechargeable battery pack in each but they just open up the same way as the normal versions of these and you can put normal D sized batteries in them. So that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna use them as a ordinary cycle lamps. Uh, but I haven't really got bikes that these would look good on. Apart from my buddy fox, I could stick them on that. Not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> I actually like that idea. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Nothing happening online. Tried looking for some software for this pinnacle systems, but it's not easy. And it looks well. I'm not sure if it's in something to do with editing or um. No, actually, I would say this is a TV card because it's got the um, TV aerial antenna on it. So that's probably the, yeah, yeah. I remember now that is the TV card. Find the TV card. I've got, but they're all obsolete now because you can't get analog TV. <laughs> they are pretty much redundant now. But I still think that's a small thing to keep hold of, you know, if not just for a museum piece. <laughs> it's not going to get used for anything, but at least I can 
show anyone who might be interested, you know, look, this is what was used years ago when we had analog TV to enable you to get TV through your PC. <sighs> so much to do, and I really can't get motivated now. So I might just say sod it for the night and uh, clear the bed. Um. <gasps> oh yeah, it actually sounds like a good idea. <laughs> tripod leg. Um, so I've got another GX80 Octoplex to put on the stack. Before I do that, I want to pick the one up that's on the bottom to put on that shelf. Typically, the one I want to keep out of this stack here is right at the bloody bottom. The only reason I want to keep that one is because that's the only one with a optical drive on it. None of the others have them. I don't know why they were removed. I don't know if that was something to do with the um, place they were being used in, if they had them removed, or I'm not sure. Because not, I don't think any of them have got the um, IDE cable for the optical drive in either. I know at least one of them haven't. I'm just trying to think if there's any more computers I need to stack in there. No, there is nothing. The only one I wanted to stack in there is that other bagage one. I think these two I might throw on eBay with a few others and see if I can interest anyone and get them out of my way. I might have to do something with this door tonight because the wind is blowing and it's well I suppose I could just do that <laughs> it was squeaking against the handle on that door so if I close that door I'll stop it squeaking or I could just close the bedroom window that'll work as well um alright I'm going to get on with some more stuff and uh then call it a night, so I'm going to make this the last clip for the video, and I'll probably stick it on a computer in the morning when I'm ready to make more videos, if I've got anything to make a video of. I don't really uh, have much to do. I have checked that motherboard in that box again, and, oh, pardon me, and there is um, some um, damaged connections on the processor socket so that is to be blunt fucked <laughs> so that can just go in a scrap pile the box is handy though I mean I can uh, still make use of the box I need to do something with that fan I stick it up my own ass out of the way somewhere uh, I was going to take that Dell apart, but I think I'm just going to put the side cover back on and put that in with the job lock. And there's, um, granted, there's a load of parts there that I could take out for spares, but do I really need them? No, not really. Uh, I've got a few more optical drives downstairs in the shed. I've got some um, broadband hubs down there as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with the broadband hubs because I haven't got a use for them and I don't think they're worth selling. They're, from B they're for BT as well, but they're not an actual BT hub. I've got a feeling they're like an aftermarket hub designed for the um, BT connections. Because I didn't know this, but... Uh, if you get a hub from BT, like the Home Hub 5, which, is I've, which I've got, it'll only work if you've got a BT connection. And obviously the same for Sky and John Lewis and whatever else, and uh, whatever other companies provide internet in the UK. You know, I didn't know John Lewis provided internet until Mum got it. Although it is completely 
shit where she is. It really is. But uh, she's out in the countryside, and well, anyone that lives out in the British countryside will probably agree you know, that it is uh, shit. And I can't complain with mine. I upgraded to fiber optic. I wasn't going to. I was going to stick with my old package, but uh, I'm glad I did because it's enabled me to uh, do more with my internet. And uh, what was that? I got a 38 megabyte, megabyte, gigabyte, meg. I can't remember now what it is. That's a 38 megabyte download speed package. And when I did a speed test, I was um, getting one megabyte less than what the um, BT package claimed, so I couldn't complain about that really. Um, and I'm not even connected to the main phone socket for the flat. The main socket is down there, and it's, I've um, I rewired it. There was a phone socket wired in the bedroom from the um, one there but because I got the computer in the lounge I didn't want to run an extension cable I thought I might as well do the job properly and I had a roll of phone cables so I've actually wired the phone socket in you know, half wired the phone socket in this lounge in to that one and I get one megabyte less than uh, what is stated so quite impressed with that. I've got an extension lead running into the bedroom for a phone in there. Not that I actually ever use it, but it's a good alarm clock if anyone needs me, because then, because obviously with a phone above my head I'll hear it better than a phone sitting on the base in here. Which is pretty much the only reason I stuck it through there. Uh, Could have clipped the cable around a bit tidier, but uh, well, actually, it's not too bad. You see, this top wire, the other two wires are just afterthought wires. Uh, that's for the speaker in the bathroom, that's for the extension cable into the bedroom, and that's the main phone wire I put in. Do a very good job up the top there with all three of any of them, but uh, apart from that, my clipping work I don't think was too bad. Pretty tidy apart from that one spot on the other cables. I just saw, <laughs> just sort of slapped this cable in really. Hooks in the ceiling from where I had the Christmas lights last year. I like me crimbo lights, so be warned when Christmas videos come, this place will look like Santa's grotto. Anyway. Over 20 minutes. Time really is flying tonight, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not getting anything done because time is flying so much. Anyway, I suppose I better turn the camera off and get something done. So, uh, you know, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. I'm not bothered either way. It helps me either way. So, do whatever you think you want to do, and. Uh, until tomorrow, I'll uh, talk to you again soon, so bye.